Hi, and welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll be talking about uh, Jenny Motion, which is a, a, a virtual machine which we'll be using to deploy our apps. Uh, it's a testing environment which is useful. Uh, if as a developer, you really need this tool because you'll be able to access and see how your app will look in different devices. So just go get Jenny Motion, visit jennymotion.com, and you'll be able to get access. So the free license is pretty much what you need uh, to start with unless you want to get the premium feature uh, it's up to you so I have the uh, free version and they have a really good uh, um, documentation once you download here uh, at the documentation section yeah they have a user guide here so you should be able to get through the installation process pretty quick and after you've done that you'll be able to start your Jenny motion just like I am doing right now and in your side of Android Studio uh, inside of preferences once you install the uh, plugin provided for uh, uh, IntelliJ IDE you should be able to get Jenny motion here and select the path of the Jenny Motion application where your application is located. And mine is located at application at jennymotion.app. And you should be able to, to set it up and use it from your Android Studio directly. So they have a comprehensive user guide here. So I believe you shouldn't be able to get any problems installing Jenny Motion. So after you've done that, you can start your application. You can add devices. And you can select uh, from a wide range of devices to test on, and it should be all set. So right now I have three devices that I'm working on. So let me just start Samsung Galaxy S3. And it's starting the device. And Jenny Motion is really, really preferred because of this, what you've just witnessed. The ability to start really fast compared to the other, the, the usual virtual, virtual machine that comes with uh, Eclipse or Android or, or Android Studio. This is because you're running two operating system with the, uh, with, with, uh, whenever you're running the, uh, the one that comes with Eclipse or the regular Android Studio, so it takes a, it tends to take a lot of memory, so it tends to power uh, and take a lot, a lot of time. But with Jenny Motion, it's really fast and it's really worth it. So there we have our app. All right, so that's it about Jenny Motion. So visit JennyMotion.com, Android Studio, install it. And in the next video, we'll be talking about our back end, another tool I'll be using called parse.com.